Day one. So, uh, yeah, it's been a hell of a climb, but uh, let's get into it. Since it's the seventh week, we're gonna amp up our cardio. So now cardio is gonna be 35 minutes twice a day, um, aside from your active cardio days. And the reps are up too. Now we're gonna go even higher. Previous weeks we were doing 20, 15, 10, or 25, 20, 15. Uh, now we're gonna go into 30, 20, 10. 20, 30 on the jump up. So today we got chest, abs, and calves. So let's get it started. The good thing when the rep range is increased, obviously you're going 30, 20, 10, 20, 30. You have that second turn to come around to make up for whatever you feel you missed in the first sets. So say for instance, now you go 30, but the weight felt light and you thought you could do more. Obviously if you can, give it a one, two, Maybe even the third rep, more, if you got it in you. If you don't, it's fine. Stay where you're at, increase the weight, and get ready for the next set. So next up, we got incline chest press. And uh, pretty much you could either do it with the barbell bench. Uh, I'm just gonna take advantage that we got the machine here. Just finished up dumbbell, so I'm pretty pumped. And this machine has a great focus right at the top. Um, but of course, if you gotta go into Smith machine or use the actual barbell bench, that's perfectly fine as well too. The handles and the grips on that machine are a lot heavier than what they look. As the pump starts to set in, fatigue starts to set in, you just want to make sure you got this weight under control. You're not putting any pressure on your shoulders. And it's right here. And a nice squeeze at the top. May not be the weight you want, but it's all about sculpting the chest. So we're coming in and just getting that squeeze. Your shoulders aren't rocking, flying, you know? I like to review the body parts and uh, give myself some constructive criticism where I've lacked, which I feel the most have been in my legs, even though some people say no. Um, and then I look at some that, where I've succeeded and I'm like, I feel like I've even overachieved. And I'm like, damn, I'm really happy with that. Uh, so I would say from here on out, honestly, I haven't even hit a back pose yet to see any of my pictures or anything like that leading up till now. But I would honestly say, I think my back's doing good. I've gotten a lot stronger in back. My cardio's up. Um, not feeling too much tension in my knee. So that's a good thing. So I'll take the win there on my leg. But uh, still, the core is where it's all at, you know? Everything else is coming together. But I'm hoping once we get out of this eight weeks and we bust up those two last cardio days, you come check in first thing Monday morning on uh, week nine. And bam, we'll see what the final results are. You always see these machines in your gym that you neglect and you never give them a shot because they look weird or whatever the case is. Uh, sometimes those end up being the best machines. So I'm gonna give this one a shot. It has a little bit of a fly motion. I'm gonna keep my hands rotated this way as opposed to out here, just to give a nice chest press on it. So it is machine press after all. I'm gonna say one thing. This is how you know I'm not a part of the League of Shadows. I didn't mind my surroundings. And what I mean by that is, I started pressing this, I didn't check if there was more weight on this side, as opposed to that side. 
So uh, pretty much what I'm saying is this arm needs to pick it up. <laughs> you know, I've said it before in the other videos, you know, you always have this body part that lacks one more than the other, and it's okay. You know, everybody has it, everybody deals with it. It's called bodybuilding for a reason. And, uh, you know, we're sculpting our bodies out to look the best they can. So it's all good. So here we go, calf press right now. Let's see if we can grow these little chicken. Second calf coming in right here. So that is it's calf two. This calf two is uh, missing. You see, body parts. I don't know whose yoga mat this is. I know you guys heard of hot yoga. This is like fucking junkyard yoga. Like you just go to a dirty hot place and you do yoga, and then the like landlord's dog chases you off the property, and that's how you get the secondary cardio in. But uh, I'm grateful. So thank you for lending me your yoga mat. I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, I saw AB eat those vegan burgers back to back. Now his muscle oxygen is through the roof. I'm on point, baby. I already told you. Just because it's a cheat meal. Don't mean it has to be that dirty. Today, it's pumped. It's ready to hit this workout. And I'm gonna tear this cardio up next too. I'm gonna tear them all down. Ooh. Yeah, the yeah, app It's real. All right, so that's a wrap. That's abs, calves, and chest. Done, Monday, complete, in the books. Day one, week seven is in the books. Again, guys, just capitalize on your cardio, man. Cardio is king, I'm telling you. The training, the diet, everything is so awesome, but when you feel the effects of your endurance being through the roof, I mean, it just puts you on a whole nother level. You can lift much faster. Your break times in between lifts are shorter. Um, you know, I can't explain to you how great it is to be able to bring out 30, 35 minutes of cardio and then be like, all right, cool, uh, what's next? So everything has built up and has become easier. So make it easier on yourself. Stay dedicated, go to our page bpisports.com, print your PDFs, have it posted on your phone, take a screenshot, just have it with you, have it on you, and come check us out. We're gonna be here rocking it again tomorrow.